Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to say thank you for um, watching my YouTube videos about the uh, TEAS exam review. So in this video, I have 25 relevant questions that would be very helpful for your future TEAS exam. So future RNs like me, aim high and hit the mark. I would also suggest that you guys make uh, flashcards out of this video and it, it would be easier for you to remember what's in this content and I also included the explanation at the very end of this video so stick with me throughout um, this whole thing so the first question is number one which organelle is the control center of a cell so the answer is the nucleus which organelle is the control center of a cell the nucleus Number two, where would you find a tundra biome? You would find a tundra biome surrounding the north and south poles. Again, where would you find a tundra biome? The answer is you would find a tundra biome surrounding the north and south poles. Number three, according to the theory of evolution, what kind of variation is inherited? So the answer would be genetic. According to the theory of evolution, what kind of variation is inherited? The answer is genetic. Number four, what is the maximum number of electrons that the first shell of an atom can contain? The answer is two. What is the maximum number of electrons that the first shell of an atom can contain? The answer is two. Number five, what kind of chemical reaction gives off energy to the surroundings? The answer is an exothermic reaction. What kind of chemical reaction gives off energy to the surroundings? The answer is an exothermic reaction. Number six, what are the four main components of human blood? So plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets compose blood. Okay, what are the four main components of human blood? The answer is plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Number seven, what is the function of the hormone insulin? Okay, guys, this one is very important because I believe that um, it came out in the T's exam when I took it. So insulin regulates blood glucose levels, or if you know if this is not the um, exact question but similar to this it's just it was just twisted so what is the function of the hormone insulin the answer is insulin regulates blood glucose level number eight what is the function of the gallbladder so the gallbladder stores and releases bile to aid with the digestion of fat what is the function of the gallbladder the gallbladder stores the and releases bile to aid with the digestion of fat so just a remember, reminder, please do make your flash cards so that it would be a lot easier for you to remember or you can just watch this video over and over again. Thank you. Number nine, which bodily system controls the production and release of hormones? The endocrine system. Sorry. Which bodily system controls the production and release of hormones? The answer would be the endocrine system. Number 10, how do Langerhans cells contribute to the immune system? They capture and process microbial antigens. How do Langerhans cells contribute to the immune system? They capture and process microbial antigens. Number 11, what is the epidermis? What is the epidermis? Um, epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. So the answer is epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. Number 12, which part of the skeletal system protects the heart and lungs? So the rib cage. Which part of the skeletal system protects the heart and lungs? The rib cage. Number 13, which division of the nervous system controls the gastrointestinal system? So the answer is the enteric nervous system. Again, which division of the nervous system controls the gastrointestinal system? The answer is the gas, uh, sorry, the enteric nervous system. Number 14, what is the primary male sex hormone? So testosterone. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone. Number 15, what are the bronchi? 
So bronchi are the two tubes which split from the trachea and carry air into the lungs. What are the bronchi? Bronchi are the two tubes which split from the trachea and carry air into the lungs. Next, number 16, where is the pituitary gland found? The pituitary gland is found within the brain below the hypothalamus. Where is the pituitary gland found? The pituitary gland is found within the brain below the hypothalamus. Number 17. Which of the cell's organelles is responsible for detoxifying metabolic byproducts? So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for detoxifying metabolic byproducts. Again, which of the cell's organelles is responsible for detoxifying metabolic byproducts? The answer is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum or um, smooth ER. Number 18, in terms of anatomical planes, where are the rectus abdominis muscles? So the rectus abdominis muscles are found on the anterior or ventral side of the body. In terms of anatomical planes, where are the rectus abdominis muscles? Um, it's found on the anterior or ventral side of the body. Number 19, state Mendel's law of dominance. This is also an important question. Um, an organism with at least one dominant allele will display the trait of phenotype associated with the dominant allele. Actually, all of these questions are very important because T's exam has like at least like four or five types of tests. So you never know what will come out in your test. So you're just better prepared. And then number 20, what is, the, what is a spigmo manometer used to measure and what type of units does this instrument measure? So spigmo manometer is used to measure blood pressure and it is the unit used is millimeters of mercury or mmHg. So which microscopic bone structures hold the osteocytes? So the answer would be lacunae. Um, singular is lacuna and then plur plural is lacunae. Which microscopic bone structures hold the osteocytes? The answer is lacunae. So the explanation is the very as at the very end. So to stay tuned. Number 12, I mean 22. In what two main ways do veins differ from arteries? So veins have thinner walls and contain valves. In what two main ways do veins differ from arteries? So veins have thinner walls and contain valves. Number 23, most axons are insulated with what? So axons are insulated with layers of myelin. Um, most axons are insulated with what? The answer is layers of myelin. Number 24, how is the overall force of muscle contraction varied? The answer is the overall force of muscle contraction varies according to how many motor units are simultaneously contracted. Again, how is the overall force of muscle contraction varied? The answer is the overall force of muscle contraction varies according to how many motor units are simultaneous, simultaneously contracted. The last one is, what is the name for the ring of muscle at the base of the uterus? The answer is the cervix. What is the name for the ring of the muscles at the base of the uterus? The answer is the cervix. So the following slides are the explanations of the 25 questions I have uh, mentioned. Okay, number one, each organelle has a specific unique function. The unique nucleus job is to store and protect DNA, which is the genetic blueprint for the organism. In the nucleus, DNA is transcribed to RNA that is then sent to other parts of the cell for protein production and cellular respiration. So tundra biomes have a cold climate with little precipitation and contain a limited variety of plant and animal life. Number three, Variation can be caused by genetic or environmental factors, but only genetic variation is inherited. Number four, <clears throat> I try to read this as fast as I can so that like this video is not going to take so long. 
So number four, shells can also be called energy levels. The first shell is the energy level closest to the nucleus or center of an atom. It is the lowest energy level and can only hold two electrons. That's why the answer was two. Okay, number five, exothermic reactions give off energy to the surroundings while endothermic reactions absorb energy from the surroundings. Number six, the plasma is the largest component which is total of 55% uh, blood volume and is 90% water. It also contains other proteins, hormones, and waste products. Red blood cells carry vital oxygen throughout the body and white blood cells are immune cells that fight infection. Platelets are cell fragments that are involved in the formation of blood clots. Together, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets comprise uh, the remaining 45%. Insul number seven, insulin is produced in the pancreas. It is made in response to a rise in blood glucose levels, which usually occurs after eating. Insulin is a signal molecule that allows your cells to take in glucose to use immediately for energy, and it, is also sign it also signals the liver to store and use glucose for the future. Number eight, Eating triggers the release of bile into the small intestine through the common bile duct. The gallbladder is also connected to the liver through the hepatic ducts. Bile is produced in the liver. Therefore, the gallbladder serves only as a storage structure for bile. Number nine, the endocrine system is a complex but ingenious and efficient group of organs. Most endocrine organs are glands that operate on a negative feedback system. Metabolism, growth, and development, sexual reproduction, sleep, and mood are a few of the functions that are regulated by the endocrine system. Number 10. Langerhans cells are dendritic cells found in the skin and mucosa. Number 11. The epidermis provides protection and functions as a first line of defense to the outside world with immune, main immune system. It also is where the skin's color cells or melanocytes are found. Lastly, the epidermis rege regenerates fully after four to six weeks. Number 12. Number 12. The rib cage consists of the sternum or the breastbone and the ribs. There are 12 ribs on each side. The first 10 all connect to the sternum anteriorly and thoracic vertebrae posteriorly, anterior front and posterior back. The bottom two attach only posteriorly. Okay, number 13. This is also known as the intrinsic nervous system. Number 14. Testosterone belongs to a family of hormones known as androgens. Together, these hormones direct a male's sexual development, secondary sex, sex characteristics like facial hair, and etc., and sex drive. Testosterone is primarily produced in the testes. So number 15, the trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles are airways that comprise the pulmonary tree. From the trachea, two primary bronchi branch into each lung. From the primary bronchi, secondary and tertiary bronchi extend further into the lung tissue, ending in the bronchioles, which are the narrowest airways. Number 16. The pituitary gland synthesizes and stores many important endocrine hormones. Number 17, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum detoxifies metabolic byproducts as well as drugs and alcohol. In the muscles, it is also the site of calcium storage. The interior or ventral part of the body is the front of the body along the coronal plane. Number 19, some alleles are dominant and some are recessive. When an organism has a dominant allele, it will display the dominant trait or phenotype associated with it. Number 20, a sphygmomanometer measures blood pressure, which is uh, measured in mmHg. Normal resting blood pressure in an adult is approximately 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury.
Number 21, lacunae are spaces between the lamellae and are connected to each other by canaliculi. Okay, each lacuna holds one osteocyte. Number 22, veins have walls thinner than those of arteries because they do not need to carry blood at such high pressures. They have valves to prevent the backflow of blood. Number 23, the action is the long sorry, the axon is the longest part of a nerve cell. It is usually insulated with myelin, myelin which helps to increase the speed of impulse conduction. 24. For a single motor unit, muscle contraction is triggered in an all-or-nothing fashion. Either there is full contraction or no contraction at all. Yeah, I remember the all-or-nothing term in um, physiology. The overall force can be varied by the number of active motor units. So number 25, the cervix is a ring of muscle at the base of the uterus. It, is, it separates the uterus from the vagina. During pregnancy, the cervix keeps the embryo in place inside the uterus. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching and keep checking for more review videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like it. This is Beth from Reality Life Series. Um, I would also recommend that you... Um, Check the link below because this is where I got this um, study guide from and they have a lot of um, They have some practice tests and um, You you just pay like a little amount so you can have um, a full coverage for um, your teas uh, study materials Thank you very much and have a nice day Bye